But and more than 4,000 women are behind bars across New York. More than 60% of them are mothers with children under the age of 18. And that's where the nonprofit group Our Children steps in. Their mission is to focus on supporting women and children not only during their incarceration, but afterwards as well. So here to tell us more about the programs that they offer is Executive Director Dr. Alethea Taylor and a former participant of the program, Kelly Phelan, and her 16-year-old daughter, Savannah. So good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Let's talk about the name, Our Children. It's not O-U-R, it's no. H-O-U-R. Yes, And tell is. us the, the meaning behind that name. Our are the key hours that a child connects with their mother. So the hour of her arrest, the hour of the visit with the child, and the hour of reunification. All those hours are significant to building that relationship between mother and child. Why is that? Well, when incarceration really interrupts the family, and so what our children does is ensure that that family bond continues. So while they're in jail, while they're in prison, sometimes, you know, there's stereotypes about a mother should not have gotten arrested or she should not have gotten in trouble. And so what we're saying is that the child doesn't suffer for that. Mm. And so what we do is make sure that we will take them to the prison, to the jail, to see their mother so that they'll continue to have that relationship while incarcerated yeah. and after. Yeah, and have that visit. We have some, some pictures here from some of the summer programs that you offer as well. Um, talk a little bit about that. Well, I'm excited about our summer program. We have summer programs inside the prison. So a mother can visit with her child one day, three days, and from a Sunday to a Thursday. We have host families that are in the Bedford Hills area, mm -hmm. along with the different communities that host those kids overnight. And then they go see their mother from nine to three, yeah. and they play and do different activities. Wonderful. And for the first time in a long time, a mom could say, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That is very rewarding yeah. and really helps with that bond that we're trying right. to engage. Yeah, and Kelly, I see you nodding your head. <laughs> and everything and she's saying. Yeah, I mean, you, you experienced this firsthand. You were part of the program. Now you're an outre outreach manager for the organization. But can you talk about your experience with the program and how it helped you and your daughter, Savannah, maintain that relationship? Absolutely. Um, our children, you know, I'm the community manager, which I oversee our teen program, um, volunteers, our food pantry. So just that alone keeps me very connected to our women. Mm -hmm. I'm always at our houses, you know, just seeing what the women need and what, how our services can just help them, you know, with whatever their needs are and what they might need for their child, honestly. So whether it be like formula or diapers, you know, um, we have so many supporters that just bring us donations of diapers and baby yeah. stuff. So we have the opportunity to help the moms who are just coming home with diapers, mm -hmm. which are a lot of money. Yeah. You know? mm. yes. So and formula. And formula, uh -huh. exactly. So and then the community. Yeah. You know, you you spent some time at Rikers after being arrested, right? So you know the experience of being on the other side but still wanting to keep a connection with your daughter. Tell us a bit about your story and then why you decided to keep with the program after you got out. So um, I gave birth to Savannah while I was incarcerated on Rikers Island and then came home to the organization with her. Mm. And when I walked through those doors with my daughter, it was the opportunity to be who I am today. Mm. And I just wanted, you know, I remember I was looking at women that were working in the office. Like, I want, you know, if she could do it, I could do it. And then it was like, I want to be, if Kelly could do it, mm. I could do it. Yeah. And that was my drive and, you know, working in programs and watching my daughter, all the positivity that she had, the support that she had that I didn't have yeah. when I was her age. Right. Yeah, and you benefited from the program. Didn't I you did survive? benefit a lot. Um, it set me on the right path, giving me community, giving me friends, family, that just forever have a place in my heart. That is my childhood. Um, school, like after school, so much things around mentoring. Yes, it set me up in a lot of ways. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing to hear. And you have a benefit luncheon that I want to highlight right now because Pix11 is a sponsor of it to keep the programs going. So when is it? And tell us a little more about it. Well, it is next week, Wednesday, May 8th. 
um, at 12 noon in Yonkers. And we do it actually in Westchester because that's a community that's really been so um, helpful to us. And the purpose is to um, fund our summer programs, not only in the prison, Bedford Hills and Taconic Correctional Facilities, mm -hmm. but also in the community, Long Island City, where we have a summer club. Um, and we are able to take kids and give them scholarships. Yeah, that's most important that it's free yes. uh, to be able to do that or at minimal cost. Wow. Great work that you're doing. Our Kirsten Cole will be there. Absolutely. Yes, yes. We're excited to have her again for yeah. the second time. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking forward to next week with yeah. her. Wonderful. Thank you all for coming in. Really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for Thank having you us. Thank you so much.